Thank you very much. What's going on? Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Shelter in Place number 17. I know it's 17, but I got to check to make sure. Keep my week straight. Hope you guys had a good week, a safe week, a productive week, a loving week, a connected week, um, and hope that you and your loved ones are well. Sheltering in Place this Friday evening. Um, that was Stevie Wonder. Want to send out a lot of love always to Stevie Wonder. He sent out so much love through his music to musicians and listeners and just to the world. And so uh, always enjoy playing his music. Just learned that one this week. Overjoyed. Been listening to it all my life from the In Square Circles. I remember when that record came out. I was a young guy, but I remember that record. Straight up early 80s and uh, the great Stevie Wonder. So thank you guys for being here. I got some new music. Almost everything is kind of new this week. And um, in fact, right now I'd like to play a brand new tune that um, I just finished writing today. I actually just started writing it today, too. I've, I've had the idea for this for a while. It's been kind of percolating, kind of marinating. Um, but I've been wanting to write a, a blues, a new blues. So I'm tentatively calling this new blues, actually. But I want to invite you, if anybody has an, a better idea, after you hear it. Don't shout it out now in the comments on YouTube. But after you start to hear it and feel it, if you have an idea for a title, I'm taking... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking uh, ideas. I'm taking requests, I guess. What is this? I'm taking ideas for the title. So I can't say that we're going to share the publishing on it necessarily, but feel free to drop in the comments any ideas you have. But for now, this is the new blues, and I got to read it because I just wrote it. Hope you enjoy.
Thank you. That's the new blues. Did we get any titles, Rachel? Oh, there's a lot. All right. If Rachel's, only read the good ones. If we see some good ones. Oh, they're all good, she says. All right. Shelter Blues. Wait, what? Bye Bye Rona Blues. I like that. Shelter and Blues. Bosendorfer Blues. Blues number 17. I like Blues number 17. Live number 17 Blues. Blues Face. Nice. All in it together Blues. 2020. Ah, 20 the word, and then the number 20 blues. Nice. All right, so if you guys, if there's any particular, what is it? Blues Lives Matter. Oh, uh, we don't like, I don't know about that one. That's a little controversy there. Thank you guys so much. That was fun. So that's the premiere of the new blues, the 2020 blues, whatever it's going to be. So we'll check in on that. Um, we have a fantastic sponsor this week. I'm so excited about this. Euclid Records, one of the great record stores anywhere, which is located, well, it originated, of course, here in St. Louis in the Central West End, uh, where it was for many years on, on Euclid Avenue. Uh, it's been over in Webster Groves for a while at 19 North Gore Avenue, uh, and they just have a fabulous selection of music, LPs in particular, um, over 200,000 recordings available. Also, check out their website, EuclidRecords.com. But the exciting thing about Euclid Records is about 10 years or, uh, ago or so, has it been that long? I think it has been. They opened a location in my other favorite city, my two home cities, New Orleans and St. Louis, and they've been in the Bywater neighborhood. In fact, I was down there in early March, and, and I'm so glad that I stopped in and got to spend a few minutes there. Uh, they're over on, on Charter Street in the Bywater, one of the coolest neighborhoods. I was staying like right around the corner from there. And um, yeah, that's their two physical locations and you can go in, they've got special hours. Check out EuclidRecords.com, you can order online. Um, they're always buying records, you know, because uh, that's what's up now. But they've got a great jazz selection, classical and all that. And um, if you love music, check in on Euclid Records. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this week, um, sponsoring us this week. And ba -ba boom right now we're going to play a little music of Jimmy Van Heusen, which I don't think I've covered any of his music, one of the great, great songwriters um, of our time. And this, actually, this tune actually has a little bit of a New Orleans con connection that most people don't know about because it was written about, it was written for a musical that I don't think was very successful that was like Midsummer's Night Dream set in New Orleans, I believe. I might be confusing the story, but I think that's right. Um, but anyway, I got a chance to record this a couple times over the, well, one time. And play it many times over the years, but I hope you enjoy Darn That Dream. Thank you. 
Thank you guys so much. Thank you. That was Sing a Song of Song by Kenny Garrett. Hope you enjoyed that. I think that's one of the uh, great jazz compositions of the 90s. Um, and always enjoy playing that one. It's been a little while. Uh, hope you guys are having a good evening. Hope that you're relaxing into the evening and that you're with loved ones, either close or far apart, but they're close to your heart, wherever you are in the world and wherever they are. And um, we are very excited about a new program that we just started last week, uh, which is our nonprofit of the week. We are partnering with uh, various groups, and this is very exciting for us. Last week, we uh, partnered with Pianos for People and raised some funds over $500 just from last week's concert, including uh, Open Studios contribution and all of you guys uh, by, by buying virtual tickets. We have a percentage, 20% of all ticket sales goes directly to the nonprofit of the week. So this week, we are very excited to uh, be putting a spotlight on a great organization called Jazz House Kids uh, in New Jersey, in Montclair, New Jersey. And it's run by the wonderful Melissa Walker, who is a great educator and vocalist, and her husband, Mr. Christian McBride, who's an amazing bass player. And uh, this program is its amazing. It's been around, I think, over 15 years, and they've served like 40,000 kids. And I've gotten to do a little teaching there. I've played at their gala before. And uh, they're, they're truly changing lives there by introducing jazz. They, they've had a bunch of like amazing young jazz players like Emmett Cohen and and a bunch of uh, guys and gals that are on the scene now that, that have trained up in this program from all different schools around New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, the whole area up there. Uh, but I think more importantly just than that is they're exposing and giving something positive and um, giving a chance for kids uh, as they come up through middle school and high school to connect with each other through this great music, whether they're going to go on and be musicians or music lovers or just appreciators of the arts or not, they're really there to serve all these folks. So we're really excited uh, to be doing this uh, with them this week. So check them out. You can see a link below if you want to buy a virtual ticket. We've even got tickets for folks that are broke. We have different levels that you can buy. So click there. You'll see uh, because, you know, if you're broke, it's all good. You know, we all need some, some good music. So check that out. And um, next I'm going to do a tune by Richard Rogers, As in Rogers and Hart. This is uh, Have You Met Miss Jones. And I was thinking about this all week. On Tuesday we listened to uh, at our Tuesday night sesh over at the Open Studio YouTube channel. We always listen to a record on Tuesday evenings together. And we listened to the great McCoy Tyner's Reaching Forth. And uh, he goes out on this tune, and I've always loved this arrangement. Well, I'm going to kind of do my own arrangement, but it's based on and certainly influenced by the great McCoy Tyner. So a little Have You Met Miss Jones.
little Have You Met Miss Jones. Hope you enjoyed that. Next, I'd like to play something that's a special dedication uh, to somebody that's very special, somebody that had a birthday recently uh, that, you know, birthdays are kind of funny during this pandemic period. If, uh, if you're young and you like birthdays, it's a little bit different. You can't really have the parties and stuff like that, and it just sort of passes along. If you're a little older like me, you don't mind that. So let it slide on and pass. But this young lady uh, had a very, a very momentous uh, birthday just a few days ago, and her name was Rachel Martin, and she's sitting over here. You might know her as the expert camera operator the switcher, the one, all things technical, the only one in here with me that's making all this magic happening. My partner over these last uh, 15, 14 weeks or so. And uh, she just turned 20 a couple days ago. So we want to say happy birthday. If you want to give her a little bit of love in the comments, feel free to. Um, Rachel Martin turned 20. And I, I wanted to prepare something special for her because she's in here hearing this music. She hears me practicing it at home. And she keeps saying, like, when are you going to play something that I like? When are you going to play something that I like? So I'm going to do that. But this might be a little bit obscure to some of you, depending on, on where you're getting your music from, what you're listening to. I know she's going to know it. But I want to put a little challenge out there. If anybody can figure out what this tune is, who the artist is, and where I got it from, or any of that, Put that in the comments. She's going to be looking. And the first one that does, what, what, what can we give them? We can give them something, right? A million dollars. We can't do that. It's a pandemic. What you talking about? But uh, you'll get some special you'll some special, special adulation from, from all of us if you can figure this out. Because I might even kind of mix it up. I'm going to make a little. I've never played this before. But I've heard it a lot. Because it's actually, it's not just one of her favorite songs. It's one of my favorite songs, too, that's been on the radio for the last little, little while. Um, Spotify playlist, whatever. So anyway, if you know who it is, I'll give you a little hint. The artists that are on here, there's a connection with Chicago and with Texas. That's going to be your only hint. Uh, but this is uh, for Rachel Martin. A whole lot of love for her and hope you enjoy it. Happy birthday.
Anybody get it? Nobody got it. All right, that's a different demographic, I guess. Anybody guess it though? <laughs> Sounds like country. That's Chance the Rapper and um, Kirk Franklin's uh, Finish Line. There you go. That's Chicago. That's the Texas. Happy birthday, Rachel Martin. All right, we got a couple more here. Um, oh, we got some good ones. Hoagie Carmichael. I think I played some Hoagie Carmichael maybe early on. <laughs> You know what it means to miss New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. Uh, but here, this is nearness to you. Hope you enjoy it.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Nearness of You by Hoagie Carmichael. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you guys for being here so much. This is Shelter in Place, number 17. My name is Peter Martin, and um, I'm your ship captain. I'm your Captain Steubing, as it were. I am your guide for the evening, and I'm going to play one more. Uh, first, we want to just say thank you so much to our sponsor, uh, Euclid Records over in Webster Groves and in the Bywater in New Orleans. Open seven days a week, 10 to 5. Go pick up some music. I mean, shelter in place, watch the live streams, but there's nothing like getting some LPs or some CDs happening. I mean, yeah, you can stream on Spotify if you want to be like that, but if you want the real deal, go get some records, or, or maybe it's a good time to clean out. They're always buying stuff, too, so what you can do is clean out, get your minimalist vibe going, take all your stuff down there, maybe pick up just a couple of uh, gems that you've had your, uh, your eye on. They've got one of the actually largest jazz selections of LP and recorded music anywhere in the world. Check them out, euclidrecords.com, and they're in Webster over on North Gore. And big shout-out to Jazz House Kids, and thank you guys, all you guys who bought virtual tickets last week and are doing it this week. It's entirely optional, but I want to keep this free and open to everyone, so if you have it upon your heart to do that, go to, what is it, petermartin.live, and uh, you can see the link below and uh, support us there and everything we're doing. Oh, yes, tomorrow. So we're, we're trying to, to build, it, build this into something. Uh, Open Studio Live is what it really is. And tomorrow we have Romero Lubombo. This is so exciting. 7 p.m. Eastern. This is going to be on the Open Studio YouTube channel. Link below for that as well. He's doing a, a um, distance, not a socially distance, a very distance from another continent. Um, duet, duo back and forth. 7 o'clock Eastern tomorrow with Victor Gonzalez. Salves. Victor Gonzalez who's a wonderful pianist and accordion, accor, accordionist, plays the accordion, how do you say that? Accordionist, accordion and piano. So check them out tomorrow, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on Open Studio Live. And uh, I'm gonna take you out with a song that's written, I'm gonna try to make it sound like it's contemporary and it's not gonna be hard. This was actually written, I believe, in the late 20s, maybe even early 30s. But thank you guys so much. Remember, we're staying spiritually connected. We're staying mu- musically connected. We're staying humanly connected even as we are socially distanced and apart. Please stay safe, everybody. Keep your mask on, wash your hands, and stay socially distanced. Just those three things. Tom Hanks, I saw him say it the other day. So simple. Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers told us to do that, so it's all good. Love you guys. Thank you. I'll see you next week for number 18.